Repeat Sports. I'm Aldo with my co-host Justin, Rob, and we are here to talk to you today about the NFL injuries and, and holdouts, holdouts and yeah. also injury returns and all that stuff. Yeah. So let's get into it. We'll start with uh, Adrian Peterson is back. Yeah. Adrian Peterson came back to practice yesterday mm -hmm. and it was announced that his coach told everyone on the defense, you touch him, you're cut. Yeah, because obviously he's it's their best player. Pretty stiff penalty. So if you 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 do anything, you're gone. So uh, he's at least back in practice, which is crazy. He got hurt really late in the season last yeah. year. He shouldn't even Just be back until either. mid season, and he's already already back at practice. It, it, it's a little scary though. I mean, yeah. he kind of rushed his rehab. So yeah, that's a we'll see how injury. that's going on. You know, uh, uh, also Terrell Thomas of the Giants. This was uh, a week and a half ago. Tore his ACL again after oh, tearing it yeah. last year. He did it last year, did his rehab. He it actually got hurt early in the season, didn't even play at all. Yeah. Tore his hamstring, or tore his hamstring, tore his ACL <laughs> and uh, rehabbed it. Went into his first uh, practice, and after his first practice, knee was swollen, found out he tore it again. Yeah, that sucks. In so, consecutive years, yeah. one of the worst injuries in the game. Yeah, and stuff like that, I mean, Adrian Peterson has to watch out because if you rush your rehab, oh, it can happen again, yeah. and that's not good. You that's know, something you, have, you don't mess around yeah. with. And uh, that's that's career, you know. Yeah, they, they should be giving those uh, those de defensive players a warning because yeah. that's the best player on that team. That's definitely, a, definitely. That's a weak team, and he's the only hope they have. So uh, uh, yes, and speaking of uh, some of the best players on the team, Jason Witten is uh, injured, got a ruptured spleen. Yeah, or something yeah, like yeah, that. Right? Lacerated spleen. Lacerated so, spleen. Uh, lacerated spleen. Yeah, they're reporting that he will be out. Uh, a, until the start of the regular season, he'll miss the rest of the preseason. So uh, the Cowboys will have to see how that goes. I mean, he's yeah. undoubtedly their bet, one of their best receivers. I mean, he's their tight end, but they go to him in many packages. He plays a big role in that offense. Yeah. So if he misses any of the regular season, that's huge. Yeah. And they, they need him back ASAP. Definitely. So. And uh, being uh, and let's go to people holding out. Dwayne Bow still yeah. holding out. How is that affecting his team? Uh, it, it is a lot. In a way, but it's also benefiting the guys who haven't had a chance to be the number one receiver. Um, mm -hmm. Like Jonathan Baldwin is able to get his playing, but Dwayne Bow uh, is doing the selfish holdout that a lot of people do. You know, I'm just waiting till right before the season starts and then do the sign because they need their money. He's yeah. gonna make nine and a half million off that that tender. So uh, yeah, so yeah, but he he basically needs to just sign. It's selfish. Just like every other player holds out, like Maurice Jones-Drew. Yeah, yeah. And MJD's still, still holding out. He needs to. That, that's, I mean, like, I understand you want the money, but, I mean, long term's out of the question now because there's a mm -hmm. deadline. Yeah. So it already passed, so you just have to sign your mm -hmm. one-year deal and yeah. play this year. I mean, you want the money, obviously. It's going yeah, yeah. to hurt you yeah. just as bad as there's the team because why, why wouldn't you want the money? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you're, you're going to be there for your team. You're going to be there for your teammates. Just sign now, get into training camp, get ready for the season to start. It's It's... It's really selfish to wait. Oh, yeah. It, when we talk about those two players, I mean, uh, Dwayne Bowe, he really needs a sign. Yeah. MJD is a different story because he is underpaid. Well, he's yeah. been the best player in that franchise the past four years. Dwayne Bowe, he's been inconsistent. He's shined yeah. at times, but he's been very inconsistent. So he just needs a sign and prove that he could get a long-term deal. Yeah, yeah, but then you look at MJD, you're saying that he needs that long-term deal. Yeah. Uh, but he can't get it. Yeah, it's he's, not gonna get, he's not going to get his big money because it's too late. So he yeah. might as well sign this one year and then negotiate yeah. towards the end of the year for that long-term deal when he can do it because he has to wait till the end of the season yeah. to get that long-term deal. Yeah, so I, I, I agree with Robert here. He, yeah, he just needs to sign it right now. He might as well. No, yeah. he, it might as well if he that's signs in his it, best interest. Yeah, yeah, if he signs it right now and he has a phenomenal season the way he had a phenomenal season last season, even if he doesn't get picked up by the Jaguars, he can go to a better team, which will give him a lot more oh, money, yeah. and mo money and money, and not all that. And can probably get him that Super Bowl ring. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what for his best interest. That's his. That's what he needs. To he do. needs to sign right. He now. needs to sign right now a one year deal, and then after the season's over, maybe move to a new team. Maybe they'll give him a long term contract, but. It, since he still hasn't signed now in the preseason, his head, that's not where his head's at. He's, yeah. still, he's still holding on, hopefully they'll sign me to a seven-year deal. He's still yeah. hoping for that. And he needs to get get that over with, out, the, out of his mind, and realize that the best thing for him and for his team is just sign a one-year deal yeah. and play. Definitely. And let's let's go into a quick fantasy moment here. Uh, you got your top uh, players like uh, Jason Witten is out. Uh, MJD is out. How is that affecting your fantasy draft? Um, Maurice Jones-Drew is predicted to be the, like the number one draft pick in yeah. your fantasy league. If he holds out the rest of the season, who are you looking to to get to claim that number one spot there? Uh, you have to you have to 
take your chances with that. Like, I draft him top five. Obviously, he's top five running back. But he's going to come back. I mean, he's not, he's not going to pull like mm. Vincent Jackson and wait until yeah. week 12 or whatever it was yeah, when he came that was back. Ridiculous. Yeah, he's going to do it just because he has that heart for football. And he's, he's just going to do it. You know, he has to play. Right. Come on. Yeah. He, he's not going to try to you know yeah, ru- ruin a possible you know season just for being selfish with the money because he has to sign anyway to get his money mm-hmm. yeah so I, I i take the chance on him and i take you know and with jason Witten's injury he'll be back by week one i draft him you know in the same place you know everyone would draft a tight end one of the top tight ends i would draft him around the same time i would i would get um rob narkowski yeah. so i mean both of those guys are the top tight ends right now so I, i'd still i still get him there's no reason to not get him um, Maurice Jones, Drew Dwayne Bow, you know, uh, probably second round pick, first or second round pick. He's one of those guys, but uh, yeah, I mean, they, their draft stock's not going to change just for the reason that uh, that they're holding out or that they're injured. But you know, if it's a serious injury, then there's there's a reason. Yeah. But the holdouts, they're going to sign eventually. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Also on Facebook, facebook.com slash three Pete Sports, and Twitter at official three ps. It's time to close out the show today. Dustin, close once, it out. once again, I am Dustin alongside Aldo and Rob. And uh, once again, click the football to subscribe, USC Helmet to watch our last video, and this one to watch the episode before that. Once again, we got 3P Sports. Yeah.